Hi there, and let's get right to it. We've already briefly looked at the gallery panel and how to use stills to compare grades between shots. Let's look a bit further into its controls and abilities. We begin by dropping stills into the gallery by right-clicking on the viewer and selecting Grab Still. This will save a thumbnail from the clip that you have selected in your timeline at the position of your playhead. Underneath it will be a three number code indicating the number of the video track it's on, the order of the clip in the timeline, and the version of the still. So if I start making further changes to this clip, I right click and I grab another still, then the naming convention will continue as 132. I can click underneath the three number code to give a still a custom name. To apply any of the grades inside the saved stills, I just have to right click on the still and say add correction. I can also go to a different clip altogether, right click on the still and add correction to that. But keep in mind that if the two clips didn't match visually to begin with, they're probably not going to match even if you do apply the same grade to them. So that's why neutralization and shot matching is so important when color grading. Some further abilities you have when you right click on the viewer is to grab all the stills on the timeline. You can choose to do that from the first frame, but let's say you have a series of shots, uh, a lot of which begin with a wall or just darkness. It might make more sense to grab from the middle frame because you get a better representation of the overall shot. To remove a still, select it and click Backspace. To visually compare a still to a clip that you have selected, you just have to double click on the still and then drag the wipe for a better visibility. To get rid of the white mode, you can either right click and untick show reference mode, or you can tick on the icon in the top left corner of the viewer. You can search amongst your stills by using the search bar at the top. This will work best if you give your stills uh, names or descriptions. You can also organize your stills into albums. So I can click on the reveal sidebar button in the top left corner, and you can see everything is contained in a folder called stills one. I could right click and add a new still album, and I could call this scene one, and then click and drag all the appropriate stills to that location. This is especially handy if you're working on a large project and you don't want to have thousands of stills floating in one folder. Underneath the regular albums, you have your power grade albums. The difference is that the power grade categorization will share these stills across all of the projects created by the user on this workstation. This can be really convenient if there's a set of looks that you like to use from one project to another. Next to the sidebar button, we also have the memories gallery. These work exactly the same as regular stills, except they can be used for quick reference. So again, if you're working on a big project, you might find yourself resorting to using the same collection of grades. And instead of having to go through all your albums, you can just keep them at the top and always reflect your favorite grades. Right-clicking inside of the gallery also gives you a lot of contextual controls. So for example, you can choose how your stills are sorted inside of the gallery. You can export stills as images and with grading information, and even export them as display LUTs that you can then load into other programs. Likewise, you can import still images for comparison in the viewer, and you can import external LUTs. You have some selection controls. You can choose whether you're looking at all the stills inside the project or only the ones in the selected timeline. How we copy grade and note information is its own topic, so we'll be covering that in a different video. Last thing I'd like to look at is the expanded gallery window. So inside of Workspace, if you launch Gallery, you'll have a large interface the bottom of the window reflects the gallery panel for our current project and timeline. We've got our memories, we've got our stills and the folders that they're contained in. At the top, we have a series of presets and also access to external users and projects. You can drag and drop any effects that you might want to use in your own film. And when you're done, just close the window in the top left corner. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.